First, let me thank us for Nanopore for the nice conference and for the opportunity to show you some of our results uh, on genome assembly on using MinIO, MySeq, and uh, PacBio. So we sequence four different E strain. You can see here, S2, it's CSK1, N44, and CBS. Uh, just as a reminder, we do have a reference for S288C, uh, which has 12 million bases and 17 chromosomes. And for this sequence, uh, for these strains, we have uh, about 120x coverage from MySeq. Um, and uh, here you can see instead the statistics for our PAC bio reads. We have high coverage, at least 120x. And uh, here instead, uh, the results from our Minion runs. Uh, we have about 27x for the reference strains and uh, lower uh, coverage for the, for the other strains. You can see also here uh, the distribution of the read lengths for PacBio and for Nanopore. And you can see already from here that uh, uh, even though we have higher coverage for PacBio, generally we have uh, a lot, um, uh, bigger mean read lengths for the uh, Nanopore reads. So we did two types of analysis of these data. Uh, the first one, uh, because we had enough coverage for the uh, nanopore sample on the reference strain, uh, we actually did a de novo assembly using only long reads. And uh, we used a bunch of uh, tools you can see here. I will discuss a little bit later more uh, if, if you want. There are the links here also. The second type of analysis we did on all the strains, and basically we use an hybrid uh, um, uh, type of assembly where we uh, de novo assembly using uh, my secrets and then you uh, do scaffold using the long reads. So because of time constraint, I will show you uh, today only um, some of the results from our first uh, type of analysis, but I will have the poster later if you want more information on the other. Uh, so for the results I'm showing here today, we wanted to, uh, to have a similar data sample from Nanopore and PacBio. So basically, we took a subsample of the PacBio reads that we have with similar coverage of uh, uh, the Nanopore reads, so 27x, uh, and also similar uh, mean uh, read length. You can see here the distribution of comparison. It's pretty similar. So here are the results. So we have four different assemblers for Nanopore and uh, the same for PacBio. And so basically, you can see we use Falcon, Cano, PBCR, and Miniasm. All of these are based on um, over, uh, overlap layout consensus type of uh, algorithm. But, uh, and of course, there are a lot of differences, especially in how the consensus is uh, built. Uh, but the main difference is that while Falcon, Cano, and PBCR have an initial step where they do base error correction, Miniasm doesn't have this step. So you can see that this is reflected in how quickly uh, Minias actually uh, can assemble our data, only a few minutes. Uh, but of course, uh, it has to pay a price in the accuracy, it's only 89%. Of the other assemblers, uh, we have that Cano uh, and PBCR actually are the more uh, accurate in the end, 98% for Nanopore and 99.9% for PacBio. And also Cano and PBCR win uh, when talking about uh, how large our N50 is. Actually, Kano wins for the Nanopore case with 770 kilobases, and uh, PacBio with a similar N50 for the case of, uh, sorry, PBCR for PacBio. So, so that was our, my results. Uh, so of course, on this data, we did a lot of our of more uh, tests. Uh, I will show some of them in the poster session if you're interested. Uh, but for the moment, let me just thank you. Uh, thank you. Well done. Uh, Time for a question? Yes, in the front. Okay. Have you tried polishing on the mini ASM <coughs> assemblies? Uh, yes. Uh, oh, actually, no, I don't have it here. Uh, but so what we see is that the thing is that the accuracy is so low that it takes very long time. Uh, I don't remember the number. But in the end, you do have uh, actually an improvement, I think, to 98%, something like that. Uh, but it's not really practical. <laughs> it's, it takes very long. Thank you very much.